All right, fighthype.com, Sean Zatel here with one of the very best welterweights in the game, former two division, two time world champion Jesse Vargas. Jesse, you gonna get a knockout in this fight against Thomas Delorme? Well, Sean, we've prepared in a, in a tremendous way, you know, with my team, Mike McCullen, my father, and my strength and conditioning coach, everyone that was involved. We did an amazing job, and for that reason, I think that you're gonna see a spectacular performance by me. And will we go for a knockout? Yeah, if we see the opening, I want to make sure to calculate my punch to perfection where it's going to go straight on the chin and hopefully that takes down Delorme and ends the night with a spectacular KO victory. That's what we are hoping for. We are ready for a 12 round fight. You know, uh, no matter what, we're ready. But uh, if we see the opening, we're going to take it and hopefully we, we make it a short night. Now, honestly speaking, man, you always had the fire, but it seems like ever since the Manny Pacquiao fight, you have more relaxation, more confidence. Uh, in the in the this will be the third fight now since then is that is that true or why what do you think about that yeah man well now I see myself as, as a young experienced champion you know um, more of a seasoned veteran you know I've been there done that and I've learned a lot from my earlier experiences and I feel that it's made me a better fighter each and every fight I've learned from but I'd say the Manny Pega fight is where I learned I benefited much more uh, when it includes any other fight because of the level of opposition that I had in front of me. With that being said, I'm a different fighter and I'm gonna show it um, for every fight from now on. You know, So October 6th, everybody tune in through the zone. It's a 99 a month, first month is free. You know, so subscribe now, You know, download the app, the zone, and, or go to thezone.com, subscribe. I'm telling you, it's gonna be, we're gonna have amazing fights. You're gonna enjoy them. And uh, we have, on my fight, you know, October 6th, we're gonna have I'm gonna be the, the main event, right? Fighting Thomas of the Lerm. We also have uh, Big Baby Miller, who's fighting Thomas Adamek. Uh, we have Arthur Bertabiev, who, who is the IBF world champion. Undefeated. Uh, undefeated. He has a great knockout ratio. I believe it's 100%. <laughs> 12 and 12, right? 12 and 0, 12 knockouts. Yeah, 12 I wins, yeah. 12 knockouts. So he's a big puncher. He, uh, he's a big, I can't say prospect because he's now a world champion, but he is uh, someone that everyone is really excited to see as well. We have, um, you know, Roman, who is WBA world champion. So, I mean, we're gonna have a good night of boxing. You're gonna be able to see the first fight all the way to the last. And I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Don't miss out, you know. Like I said, there's no contract to, just once you subscribe, if you do wanna cancel, you can. Believe me, you're not gonna want to after you see all the fights that we have lined up on the zone. And I'm looking forward to, to this big night. You know, it's gonna be Chicago. If you're out in the Wintrust Arena, if you're out in the Chicago area, come out to the Wintrust Arena. You're really going to, uh, you know, uh, you're going to be entertained, and I believe that we're going to exceed the expectations. You were ringside for Delorme's last fight against Ugas. That was uh, the night of Mayweather McGregor. I know you were ringside. What'd you think of Delorme? What'd you pick up from him when you saw him up close? I was ringside. You're right at the Mayweather McGregor McGregor fight. And he, I mean, Thomas Delorme has always been a fighter that comes and 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 a fighter that comes. Fights, fights with his heart. What I mean by that is that he never gives up. He leaves everything inside that ring, and he's he's always giving you just that, you know. Uh, so I know that I'm in for a fight. I know he's gonna come and give it his all. He has everything to win, you know, everything to gain, and nothing to lose. And for that reason, I feel that uh, I have to prepare properly. That's why we didn't get overconfident. We knew we knew exactly what we were we were in a, up against, and uh, we gotta prepare. You know, we gotta prepare. Because in boxing, anything can happen. One punch can change the whole situation in a fight. So for that reason, we want to make sure we made sure to prepare properly and to be in the best shape of my life. Honestly, I mean, with each fight, we learn something new. So uh, we're in better shape now than we were ever before. So I believe that um, I'm going to give people a spectacular performance. And I know we did touch on it earlier, but again, like, is is the knockout on your mind in this fight a little more than usual because it is the first fight on the zone? Uh, it, you're, you're becoming the mandatory if you win this fight for the WBC. There's a little more pressure on me now uh, because I know that I have to reach the people's expectations, actually exceed them. Uh, and that's what I'm planning to do. And the, the best way of doing it is to win by knockout. For that reason, that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, no matter what, a win's a win, so I'm, I'm focused on winning. But ideally, a, a knockout victory.